Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. The European Union ban on retinol products over a certain percentage is gradually being phased in, and I'm getting a lot of questions around what alternatives there are as some of the most popular brands are removed from shelves. Well, in this video, I want to demystify retinol alternatives. It can be really difficult to match like a percentage of one style of retinoid to another form, but I'm going to hopefully help you on that journey today. Now, maybe you're not in the European Union. You're thinking, this doesn't apply to me. I don't need to watch. Well, let me tell you that retinol is actually my least preferred form of retinoid, and you could be missing out on some of the great alternatives. So I want to use this ban as a way of kind of bringing to the market, to the consciousness of all of you guys, some of the great alternatives that will still be available and could give you next level results with less irritation. Sit back, relax, let's talk the best retinol alternatives. Now, before we get into this video, just that quick reminder to do all that YouTube stuff if you haven't already. If you could reach down and give this video a big thumbs up and a like. Honestly, this supports me as a content creator so, so much because the more likes a video gets, the more widely YouTube will distribute it on its platform. I also do want to get the message out there in this video loud and clear because a lot of people might see or start to notice that some of their favourite retinols are being removed from shelves and kind of wondering why. Well, this explains not only why that's happening, but also some of the alternatives that exist on the market. So any support you guys can give me in getting that message out there is much appreciated. I would, of course, love to know what your own go-to retinoid serum is. So sound off with your favourites in the comment section below. Now, with all that out of the way, let's cut that waffle and delve straight on in. So in this video, we're going to focus down on the alternatives. If you're wondering, like, how did we get here? <laughs> you know, maybe I've missed some of this news. Don't worry, I covered it all in a recent video, which I'm going to leave a link to up there that explains the ban, what's covered, and of course, some of the reasons and justifications for that. So all that background is in that video, but I want this video really to focus down on the alternatives. I know a lot of people might be alarmed when they see some of their favourites disappear from shelves. And trust me, big names have been impacted by this from The Ordinary through to Paula's Choice, Drunk Elephant, and, you know, those big name brands we often reach for when it comes to our anti-aging. But actually, I want people to see this as a positive. You know, out with the retinol, but maybe in with some new alternatives that could, in a lot of instances, give you enhanced results, less irritation, and sometimes even save some of your hard-earned coin. And that's what we're going to delve in straight away to. So I think one of the easiest ways to work with these restrictions and with this ban is to go for a lower strength retinol, one that isn't impacted. Something like a 0.3% concentration, which whilst on the lower side will still give you great results. However, dial up the results you're going to see by combining your lower strength retinol with Bakuchiol. Now, Bakuchiol is one of my favorite ingredients in skincare. It's been studied over a number of years and shown to give very similar outcomes to topically applied retinol, but with far fewer side effects. So it's the perfect pairing to go with an existing lower strength retinol to dial up the results you're going to see. I'm here to say, if you opt for a lower strength retinol and use Bakuchiol consistently alongside it, honestly, you're gonna see a far greater results than maybe you would expect. Bakuchiol as an ingredient, like I say, is a lot less sensitizing. It's also hydrating on the skin too. So this is a great addition to anyone's skincare routine that has dry or dehydrated skin. You need to use Bakuchiol consistently, so kind of get into that habit of using it every single day alongside your lower strength retinol in order to maintain those results that you've seen. There are a few good quality Bakuchiol products on the market that I'm going to quickly call out to give you guys a little inspiration. But I would say as well, maybe you're not impacted by this EU restriction on retinol strength and you're going to continue to use your high strength retinol anyway. Still consider using Bakuchiol alongside it because this is a pairing that works beautifully no matter what strength you're reaching for. It's a great addition to a skincare routine to get some elevated anti-aging without necessarily having to break the bank because none of these products are particularly expensive. One of my favourite Bakuchiol containing moisturisers is the Face Theory Bacaluronic, that's a mouthful, moisturiser, containing a 2% concentration of that Bakuchiol with hyaluronic acid, other great humectants. Because Bakuchiol is actually a hydrating ingredient as well as being great for anti-aging, it kind of makes sense to have it in a moisturiser, and this one's beautifully formulated. It's affordable and this is a great way of not having to add an extra step in your routine. Just swap out your existing moisturizer for this face theory one with Bakuchiol. And that way you'll get that dose of Bakuchiol alongside your retinol without having to have an additional step to achieve it. I love this and it's one I recommend to just about everyone. When you shop in the Bakuchiol market, there are some oils I also really, really enjoy. And this is, again, because of the hydrating properties of Bakuchiol, makes sense to have it in an oil or a moisturizer at the end of your routine. 
I love the PSA Skin Midnight Courage Oil because this is a beautiful blend of facial oils with that dose of Bakuchol. And again, one of the best ways of doing this is just add a couple of drops of this to the palm of your hand, put your favorite moisturizer on top, mix it and apply it to the skin. That way it'll sink in like that, give you extra hydration, boost up your anti-aging, and I promise you, if you use Bakuchol alongside your lower strength retinol, you probably not even notice the difference. You might have taken it down a notch, but pairing it with Bakuchol is the best way to maximize results. Now option two is to swap retinol for retinal. One letter difference, but completely different world. The great news is retinal hasn't been impacted by any of these European Union changes or restrictions. That way it remains universally available across the globe in a great range of different concentrations. It can be really difficult to know what strength to go for if you're swapping from a retinol to a retinal because the percentages do really differ. Because retinal is so much more potent than retinol, you tend to see it in lower concentrations. But don't let that fool you. You're still going to get far better anti-aging than I've ever experienced with retinol. As a general rule, if you're using a 1% retinol, you want to go for a 0.01% retinal. You see, huge percentage difference, but you're not compromising on any of the outcomes because retinol is just superior. The reason I say this is whatever product, whatever retinoid you put on your skin, it has to go through a number of conversions in the skin to get to the retinoic acid that our skin uses for these great anti-aging benefits. The more conversions it goes through, the more potency is lost. Retinal is closer in terms of its structure to retinoic acid, so it goes through fewer conversions. That's why you can use a lower percentage and get greater results. Because of this, you also experience less side effects and sensitivity. So I would say to everyone that's watching this video, take the plunge now. Use these changes within the European Union as like the impetus you need to make the switch from retinol to retinal. You'll never look back and you'll get better results. Now, one of the very best low strength retinal options is the beauty of Joson Retinal Eye Cream. Now, this is called an eye cream, but most people just use it across the face. It is that good. Super affordable and super gentle. This has other ingredients such as Centella Asiatica to calm and soothe. And I think this would be a great retinal option for anybody that has sensitive or dryness prone skin. This one is going to just deliver for you over the long term, but in the short term, it might not give those immediate quick wins because it is a lower percentage than some other options on the market. But this is a great place to start for anyone that's exploring retinal as an ingredient or has super sensitive skin. You'll definitely get those great anti-aging benefits, less sensitivity than with retinol and Beauty of Joseon are one of my favorite brands, so I recommend them all the time. In terms of mid to high strength retinals, I've got a couple of options to make. I recently created my own retinal oil, which is this. This is the Mad About Skin Ultimate Anti-Aging Oil. Of course, because retinal is my personal favorite retinoid, I used it as the ingredient in this. And this uses a great mid strength retinal and some other retinoids alongside it to really dial up the potency. Because it's in a rich oil base, super hydrating, and it uses oak kernel oil, which is anti-inflammatory and will minimize any skin sensitivity. This is just gonna be a great all-rounder for people that wanna make the switch from retinol to retinal, but want to do so in a way that's gonna get them enhanced anti-aging, but fewer side effects and less irritation. Even though it's an oil, because it's non-comedogenic, it's not gonna clog the pores, it's not gonna break you out, so it'll work well whether you've got super dry skin, or like me, you have super oily and acne prone skin. This'll work and it'll deliver. And going back to my original tip when it came to Bakuchol, when you're using an oil, best thing you can do is put a couple of drops of this into your moisturizer and apply it to the skin. That way it'll sink in seamlessly and you'll get all the great benefits of this retinal. Now, as with whether you're choosing retinol, retinal, you definitely need to use a sunscreen alongside it. That's because these ingredients are going to help increase cell turnover and you really need to protect that new skin that's emerging. So I created this, which is the Mad About Skin Anti-Aging Collection, which gets you that retinal oil we've just spoken about gets you the sunscreen, which is a non-negotiable in an anti-aging skincare routine, and also a great antioxidant cream. These three together will be like a powerhouse trio when it comes to protecting the skin, erasing fine lines and wrinkles, and just giving your skin everything it needs to fend off free radicals all day long. And I did this collection with a 25% discount versus buying them all separately. So in effect, it's like buying these two together and getting this one for free when you look at the cost comparison. So like I say, I've linked in the description box below, and that's a great 
uh, retinal oil, which I think would just work universally. Another great mid-strength option that I'm always fangirling about is from Naturium. I adore the Naturium Retinaldehyde Serum. This, divine. Same great mid-strength, which I think will be universally applicable. Easy to get your hands on. I think you can now get this in Target, which is great. Just walk into that Target store and pick it up off the shelves. And similar great price point as to the one with the Mad About Skin product. So, Again, just working, I think, universally, suiting every skin type and, of course, budget. Now, if you're someone that likes maximum results, you no compromise, you just want those maximum results, and maybe you've been using a super high potency retinol, and with the restrictions, you need to make the switch across. Well, I would always recommend the Geek & Gorgeous A Game 10. This is a super high potency retinol, which might not work on the super sensitive skin types out there, but for a lot of people can give you the best anti-aging experience. Again, on a really fair budget. Geek and Gorgeous, super affordable. And this is a great option for people that were using a super high strength retinol and need to make the switch to a retinol in order to still be able to comply with those EU regulations. This is a great product and one of my favorites that I recommend all the time. Now, quickly, I do just want to touch on Gran Active Retinoid, which is another retinoid on the market that can make a great alternative to retinol. Again, you need to know what percentage to go for. And I would generally say, as a rule of thumb for a conversion, if you're using a 1% retinol, which has been impacted by these restrictions, you want to opt for a 2% Gran Active Retinoid to get an equivalent result. Gran Active Retinoid is great because it's less sensitizing than retinol and studies have shown it can be particularly effective on acne prone skin. That's because it actually reduces the rate of acne causing bacteria and can minimize inflammation associated with it. So if you're someone that uses your retinol for acne reasons, then I would personally reach for a Gran Active Retinoid as a great alternative. My favorite 2% actually comes from The Ordinary. This is one of the few The Ordinary retinol products that isn't going to be impacted by those changes because it's Gran Active Retinoid. And their 2% emulsion, super lightweight, glides onto the skin and feels great if you've got particularly oily and acne prone skin because it sinks in like that and doesn't clog the pores. This I absolutely love. And I think for anyone that's using a 1% retinol and wants an equivalent in Gran Active Retinoid, this 2% emulsion by The Ordinary is the one that I'd go for. Finally, this is the Dr. Sam Flawless Nightly Pro Serum. This actually contains a 5% concentration of Gran Active Retinoids. This is off the charts, through the roof, sky high anti-aging. Now, not for the faint of heart, you know, if you're new to retinoids, don't go for this. But if you're experienced with retinoids and you've used a high dose retinol and want the equivalent in Gran Active Retinoids, this is as good as it gets. I adore this serum. They've really formulated it well to minimize dryness and irritation. And if you're someone that's using a 2 or a 3% retinol, loving the results, but you're impacted by these restrictions, switch to this. You'll get the same great outcomes. I think you'll get a whole lot less irritation. And this, yeah, it's just an absolutely beautiful product. Hopefully in this video, I've been able to, you know, help you navigate some of the changes that might be coming in the retinol market. Maybe you live outside the European Union and you're thinking, I don't know what the fuss is about. None of this is going to impact me. Well, first of all, you're lucky and that's great. But you still might want to consider swapping to retinal or Gran Active Retinoid because I think these could give you enhanced results and less irritation. I think everyone could benefit from slotting a Bacuchol serum or moisturizer alongside their existing retinoid for some extra anti-aging. Hopefully in this video, I've demystified everything. No one likes change. I particularly hate things changing, but sometimes change can be a positive. And we can see these restrictions as a great way of exploring the market in more detail, switching things up, and fingers crossed, getting better results when it comes to our skin goals. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and wherever you are in the world, guys. Stay safe, stay well, and love your skin. Take care. Bye.